going on there guys good saturday evening it is the earth master partially here uh, not doing too good got a, almost 102 fever and a whole bunch of body aches kicking up uh, it's been like that all day uh, latest quake here on this saturday night which is the uh, january 8 2022 about 6 34 p.m california time it is a 5.9 earthquake coming into the papua new guinea area this originally came in from the emsc as a 6.0 magnitude quake downgraded a little bit by the usgs there to a uh, 5.9 let's go ahead and check out the uh, latest info out here on the usgs map here where we've seen some movement kick up out on the west coast as well there's that 5.9 over here between the solomon islands and the uh, papua new guinea area movement uh, really kicking up here along the southern california region earlier with a uh, little bit of movement around the palomar observatory they've seen a 3.3 uh, and also, uh, well, that 3.5 here was from last night up north. But we have seen a little bit of micro uh, microquakes here within this region uh, throughout the day here around the Palomar Observatory. This this place, man, has been swarming for quite some time. I'm not 100% certain about what's going on out there. Uh, looking at the 30 days, all magnitudes here shows uh, roughly about 160 earthquakes within that region of the uh, Palomar Observatory, Palomar Mountain region. So um, it, it's hard to say exactly what's going on out there. There is certain segments of the San Je or the Elsinore Fault System that run through here. Uh, San Jacinto, of course, over here, a little bit further to the east. But um, just, just kind of watching it, seeing, uh, you know, kind of what uh, takes place here in this region. Uh, swarms like this kind of tells me that uh, there's something brewing down here for sure. I can see movement in this area to the east of the Palomar Mountain area as well, kicking up, uh, and also a little bit of activity north of the uh, Mexicali area. Uh, up above the Simi Valley area, seen some movement where that 3.5 kicked up last night. Throughout the day, a couple small microquakes within that region. Uh, some movement along the San Jacinto Fault area as well. Not for certain how long I'm going to be able to uh keep out this video it's just been uh it's been a horrible day i'm not even joking body aches just random random body aches uh my nose is clear which is weird not really a whole lot of congestion just high fever uh pains everywhere uh, it's kind of odd it's very very odd let me tell you uh pacific northwest a little bit of activity kicking up there in that region let's go ahead and check out the trimmer map along the Cascadia subduction zone uh, where we're seeing some further movement here into northern Cal or uh, southern Oregon area. It looks like about uh, 28 epicenters of trimmer along the southern end of the Cascadia there in the um, southern Oregon area. We did see some further movement into the Gulf of California a little bit further south. We've seen a 4.7 uh, a couple hours ago. This region here uh, over the last few weeks or so has seen some uh, Pretty good swarming movement up and down the Gulf of, Gulf of California area. And uh, no stranger there in that little region. Uh, definitely seen over the past few weeks some uh, larger quakes and a bunch of fours where we've seen that 4.7 hit uh, just a few hours ago. Last time we seen that, we watched uh, earthquake activity really ramp up here along the west coast. So we'll keep an eye on that. Uh, up north into the Gulf of uh, Alaska. Not a whole lot of renewed movement following that uh, earthquake up here uh, earlier. 5.2, uh, 28 kilometers here, kind of a deeper um, deeper earthquake for this zone. The Aleutian Trench and areas to the west here still remain very quiet. Philippine, uh, Philippine plate, exceptionally quiet there as well. Uh, of course, 5.9, the latest quake on the map, striking uh, around the, uh, the Britain area. Papua New Guinea at 5.9 at uh, 20 kilometers below surface. Uh, that, that's a pretty shallow earthquake, but over the course of the day, we did see some further uh, deeper movement around that region, at least to the west, where we've seen a 5.0. This one, 115 kilometers. And a couple other smaller quakes working their way down to the uh, Indonesia area. New Zealand looks pretty quiet for the most part, uh, 5.1 at uh, 34 kilometers there into the uh, Kermadec Trench. Uh, what else we got? South Sandwich Islands earthquake, that was uh, earlier, way earlier, 4.9 down there in that region. South America, pretty quiet right now still. Of course, every time I say that, it does pop up. I've seen a couple fours into the uh, the uh, Perchilli Trench. Pretty shallow earthquake activity though there. 
and uh, Puerto Rico looking uh, like it uh, had a little earthquake here within the last hour 2.6 at 15 kilometers uh, into that region some activity around the New Madrid zone to the northern end of it uh, 1.8 near Marston Missouri that uh, is about it when it comes to the uh, earthquake activity along the eastern part of the country uh, not a whole lot going on on the Yellowstone region either folks pretty quiet solar weather activity was picking up earlier during the update but uh, I'm not for sure exactly how active it is tonight oh yeah it did pick up look at that we got a G1 class storm kicking up in the red KP index up there around the 5 level uh, that is from uh, let's see it was a small increase in speed along with a south pointing BZ uh, was enough to push levels to the minor storm threshold. Uh, visible aurora will be likely at higher latitudes if dark outside. So over the last couple hours there, it looks like things really ramping up with the geomagnetic storm. I mean, it looks as though it's calming down a little bit now, uh, looking at this 30-minute uh, forecast there. But uh, nonetheless, things kind of kicked up, and just a sure, sure sign of uh, how things can change pretty rapidly. All right, folks, I'm going to jump off here. Uh, and I'm honestly, I think I'm going to call it... Uh, a night uh, sleeping most of the day and uh, it's just uh, man I, I, I can't even put my finger on it I haven't felt like this in quite a few years so hopefully with some uh, good cold medicine I'll uh, wake up better tomorrow hopefully all right guys have a good night stay safe out there and uh, we'll chat you guys tomorrow sometime